Selena Gomez has found herself in some trouble recently, and it's crazy how just a few months ago, everyone was loving up on her and ready to defend. I talked about recently, people were upset she was wearing Balenciaga, but it was an old picture. There's a lot of conversations going on surrounding her name. Some people are feeling like it's ridiculous to even care about a celebrity's life this much, while others feel like Selena has been fueling some fires in the gossip celebrity world. At the beginning of this year, Selena fans raced to her defense against Hailey Bieber, as it seemed Hailey and her friends had been shading Selena or some of their posts could have been interpreted as shading her. At the time, Selena had also commented on a few things on TikTok that added to the things people noted about Haley. One TikTok showed a clip of her from when she co-hosted the show Drop the Mic and she had shaded Taylor Swift. In a one-on-one -on -one rap battle full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> Selena was quick to defend her friend, commenting, so sorry my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Selena also commented on another TikTok where someone expressed how they felt bad for her. Does anybody just ever feel like really bad for Selena Gomez? Like, can you imagine going through a breakup so publicly with a guy that you were in love with for like seven years and then like two months later you just like marry someone and then you have like a chronic illness or an autoimmune disease. Sorry, I don't know too much about lupus, but I can't imagine that it's fun. And living with that and the flare ups and just having to live with it within the public eye while people are watching you. And then dealing with mental health when life is hard enough already. Honestly, like kudos to her for being so brave and so public and just like, so open about her journey and she said that made me cry thank you and when this tiktok of Haley and kendall and justine sky was going around people felt like the three of them were shading selena someone had reacted to the whole situation on tiktok and selena ended up commenting under this video i'm not even like an avid follower of the situation but isn't Haley the one that like begs selena to tell off her fans for bullying her I mean, Haley's a bitch. Selena said, it's okay. I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. People felt so bad for Selena that Haley and others were putting her down and were very quick to defend her since she was being kind of vocal online. She was very obviously seeing everything and everyone just felt sad. She had spoken out eventually telling people that she doesn't stand for hate. She didn't want anyone to be mean on her behalf. And her and Haley ended up both posting on their Instagram stories talking about that they have talked and they don't condone any of the hate that had been going around. Around. Towards the end of the whole Haley and Selena drama, some did start to criticize Selena, feeling like she stirred the pot a bit with comments on TikTok and things like that. But after the situation, she really stayed away from social media for a while. She went off to film Only Murders in the Building, and she wasn't really posting on TikTok like she had before all the Haley drama had gone on. But this past month, she's been posting again pretty consistently, and she was actually getting some backlash from those Haley supporters. And Haley ended up addressing this on her story, saying, If you're leaving mean or rude comments on my behalf on anyone's posts, just know that I don't want that, nor do I ever or will I ever support or condone hateful, mean, or nasty comments. Doing that is not supporting me. If you are participating in that, you are a part of a culture that I want no part of. Please be nice or don't say anything. But I will say that as time has passed this year, there started to be a shift in how people were feeling about Selena, especially when it came to Francia. She is the one who donated her kidney to Selena, and she recently came out in a paparazzi video and kind of beat around the bush when talking about Selena. They wanted to know why she unfollowed Selena, why they didn't seem like they were friends currently anymore, and people just started to feel bad for her. How's everything going with uh, you and Selena? I know you and followed her. You still don't follow her. Are, are things good with you, with you guys? Sunday is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, do you guys still talk? Um, it's a good day, isn't it? It's so pretty out. So you guys, you guys do talk still, right? Why do you, why do you not follow her back? She followed you. Did you know I'm from the Valley? I, I didn't know. I'm I mean, now, now I'm that having I know. such a hard time leaving. <laughs> the conversation started back up again with how some people were feeling for Francia. They felt like she was pressured into the whole thing and they were looking at Selena a little differently. I did panic. When I found out I was a match, it wasn't the way I expected. One day I got a phone call from Selena, a FaceTime, and she's like, for a match. And I'm like, ah, yay, what? How do you know this? 
I had a way that I wanted to tell her when I made the decision. I knew I was gonna happen, I just knew that time. Like, it's, it's a big thing. So I hang up and I call my social worker and I'm angry and she told me, it's gonna be hard. The recipient is gonna glow and she's gonna recover a lot faster than the donor is because she's receiving something she needs you're losing something you don't need to lose. It's gonna be hard. Some people were getting a sense that she was regretful and even the paparazzi asked her recently if she would do it again. Would you do it again now with all the circumstances going on? I would definitely speak to someone again about organ donation and yeah. the process. Okay. That whole thing got people to feel bad for Francia and in turn feel some type of way about Selena. And now there's a new situation going on. It came out that she unfollowed Zayn, Gigi Hadid, Bella Hadid, and Dua Lipa on Instagram. Now, I just took this as it didn't really work out with her and Zayn since they were rumored to be dating each other or seeing each other or hanging out or something. But Gigi, Bella, and Dua, I don't really know why that would happen. It just seems super random, especially the Dua Lipa part. And let me just say the Dua Lipa part ended up not being true, but the rest of them were true. She still follows Dua. But people ended up replying to the tweet that said that she had unfollowed all these people saying, for someone that's about to turn 31, she's truly the most toxic and childish one out of all her peers, knows nothing about acting her age. She is always causing something. This whole Selena unfollowing people on Instagram just reminded me of her unfollowing Madison Beer back in 2020. She made her fans harassed her for weeks and now she's doing the same thing with Zendaya, Gigi, Bella, Zayn, and Dua Lipa. She knows what exactly she's doing. It's different when you're a public figure with huge following stands that would send hate to anyone she will unfollow for no reason. She knows what she's doing. Which this thing with Madison Beer did happen back in the day where Madison got involved in Haley and Selena drama back in 2020. Selena had gone out to dinner celebrating the launch of her rare beauty brand and Madison went to dinner with Haley Bieber that night at the same restaurant as Selena. And they got a lot of hate saying they were trying to ruin Selena's night. There were rumors going around that Selena had unfollowed Madison after this. So then Madison got a ton of people in her comment section using the snake emoji. It turned out that Selena hadn't even unfollowed, but just the rumor alone of her unfollowing made people feel like we must go defend Selena. We must go attack Madison. It's like this automatic like defense mode that some people get into whenever they hear that someone has unfollowed someone else. And some people feel like this whole thing of caring about the unfollows is ridiculous and did reply to the whole Zayn, Bella, Gigi, and Selena unfollowing them drama saying, being a celebrity seems so miserable because why the F do so many people care that Selena Gomez unfollowed someone? Like, why does that need to have a trending topic? People unfollow each other every damn day. People unfollow people every day, but apparently it's only an issue when Selena Gomez does it. She unfollowed a long list of accounts and you mentally unstable people online decided to focus on specific accounts. Go outside. She can do whatever she wants on her account. It seems like Selena's team did end up commenting on the situation, saying there's no bad blood in the air. This is all just a random unfollowing. People reported, there's no feud in the building. Over the weekend, e eagle-eyed fans noticed Selena Gomez seemingly unfollowed a handful of celebrities on Instagram, including Bella and Gigi Hadid, Zayn Malik, and Zendaya. But a source close to the only murders in the building actress says rumors of any drama are unfounded. There are absolutely no hard feelings with anyone she unfollowed, the source tells People exclusively. While fans claimed Gomez had unfollowed Dua Lipa, the levitating singer still appears on the Rare Beauty Founders following list. I do think though that when you like unfollow people as a big celebrity, people do pay attention to that stuff and you know that people pay attention to that stuff and it kind of just seems like something that people will be curious about. People will want to look into it because as a public figure, people want to look into everything about you. Now with her team seemingly coming out with this statement though, I definitely think it leaves people a little bit more confused as to like what happened. Like if it's all good, then why did you unfollow? Almost like no comment would have been better because now it just seems so random, but it has become a huge topic of conversation that sparked other conversations of why are we looking into people's unfollowing so close? Is Selena starting drama? All of this. It's become such a mess is what it really is to be honest. But I think Selena is really just trying to laugh off the things that are being said about her for the most part since she did post this funny TikTok recently. You ever heard a rumor about yourself and actually wanted to hear more? Like, damn, what did I do next? <laughs>
But that's what's been going on in the Selena bubble. Some people are starting to feel differently about her. Some people have felt like she started drama this week, the whole unfollowing. She's claiming no bad blood. She's only ever really preached positivity and not wanting to bring others down. And she doesn't want her fans to go and attack other people. So it's like, there's a lot going on. But let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.